Welcome everyone. This is Art Studies with J Roll 92. I am your host, J Roll 92. Nihonji minasama, konnichiwa. This is my first video, so please be kind and gentle. I'm so soft hearted like that. So, the purpose of this channel will be to document my learning experience as an artist and a Japanese language student. That's right, you got a Nigerian trying to learn Japanese. This is going to be funny. Okay. So, in later videos, I'm going to be teaching you Japanese. I'm going to be teaching you the kanji from the ground up, a combo level, baby level, from scratch. I'm going to be teaching you vocabulary you should know by grade level, so grade 1, 2, 3, until hopefully you graduate high school level. So, I'm going to be doing that we'll have, while having illustrations in the background. But for this video, is my first video, so I'm trying to start off something light, something fresh. So, this is more of an art study of uh, the profile view, a side view of a character from a Korean drama that I was watching at the time when I recorded this. This is a 2019 Korean drama called The Tales of Nakdu. So it follows the main male lead, Jang Dong Yun. Yes, Jang Dong Yun. Sorry, I'm not studying Korean, I'm studying Japanese. So. Please uh, forgive me if I do not pronounce it completely 100%. So the character in this is a noble heir. So he and his family get attacked by female assassins. He chases them and it leads him to this village primarily contained by widows. So he's interested. He's like, what's going on in this village? I need to find the assassins who attacked me and my family members, you know, to get my revenge because, you know, that stuff is always wonderful. So, he actually comes up with a brilliant idea that he's going to cross-dress as a woman so he can be able to be, gain entrance into the widow's village. So, I mean, there are twists and bumps along the way, but he does manage to get himself into the village. And this is a romantic comedy, so you will see a lot of awkward moments, a lot of hilarious moments, and this will keep you laughing for quite some time. So, the characters are lovable. You've got to always have that in shows. You've got to have a lovable character. I don't care how hot he is. If the character is not lovable, I will click off. But these characters in this show were very lovable, including the female lead. She is Kim so and she plays the part of a unwilling um, geisha apprentice at the beginning, but then she decides to um, seek shelter in the widow's village and so she's the one he encounters she does discover his um cross-dressing ways early on but she chooses to keep it secret for her own purposes so it's 32 episodes not too long <laughs> not as long as its chinese counterparts which tend to go off of 60 to 70 something episodes but again i've watched both sections it it is what it is choose your poison but um, if you do have the time, maybe just two days, it should be enough to knock this out if you're a binger like me. I did watch it on Vicky. This is not a sponsorship, but um, Rakuten Vicky does have a pretty large library of K-dramas, Chinese dramas, Taiwanese dramas, Japanese dramas. So that could be helpful when I start going into the Japanese later, um, lessons later on. So you can kind of immerse yourself in the language, immerse yourself in the culture. Um, so... That is the synopsis for the storyline of him trying to, you know, stay hidden as a cross-dresser while trying to discover the secrets of the widow village and how it ties into the assassination attempt in the royal court. Um, gotta love the old drama pieces. Love the costume pieces. They're extremely detailed and they tend to have the best plot twists ever. So as I'm drawing this, I do notice I have gone a little bit purple with the tints and the shading for him. I don't know what possessed me. I don't know. It's like I was trying to do knock through, but more of a ghost version of him. But it's okay, though, as long as it comes out well, right? So um, I think I played it off well enough for the final piece. So I was just trying to predominantly just capture the character, capture the, the serious, kind of noble character of him, you know, high cheekbones, straight nose, death bind, eyelashes, eyebrows, all of that. Um, and most definitely adding in an Adam's apple because up until my guys tend to look like females. 
So feel free to tell me in the comment section what you think, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and give some art critique if you want. I'm perfectly fine with that as well. Again, this is about a learning experience for both you and me as an artist and as the viewer. And tell me what you think about the, the series as well. If you have never watched it, I do recommend you watch it. And come back and um, comment below. Tell me what you thought about the series. Tell me if it was a good watch for you or if it wasn't. If it was as funny for you or it wasn't as funny. I know sometimes everybody teaches own. Everybody's got their own sense of humor. So that is enough from me. I'm going to let you just watch the rest of the video play out. And thank you very much. Be sure to stay tuned. Next Tuesday, I'll be coming up with another video.